Venus flytrap. Life happened and unfortunately mine died due to underwatering, so I bought another one. So I start with cleaning up the soil a little bit. Whatever you do, avoid touching the traps. Every time you touch a trap and you're not giving it food or nutrients, you're taking too much energy from the plant. The cool thing about this one is it had a sundew. And if you have gnats, these are great because that sticky part right there will stick to the gnat and kill it. And I was cleaning up this trap when I noticed it has color but it's not moving. What causes the trap to open and close is whenever something activates those little hair follicles. And despite all my tickles, nothing. Nothing at all. So I chopped. And when I found these at the nursery, I saw that somebody tried to feed it with a holiday cactus. And that's not very nice. If it's indoor, keep it in a tray, just like this, and let it sit in pure, mineral-free water. I use distilled water. They're bog plants and they like to sit in the water. And this is how I welcomed my 